Hey everyone, my name's Amel and you're watching Newsbreak. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. How safe are your passwords? India's pollution problem. And the Christmas Island red crab migration. But before we get started, you know what I'm going to say. Why don't you hit that subscribe button? How secure do you think your passwords are? Well, a list of Australia's 200 most popular passwords has just been released, and yours might not be as original or as safe as you think. Here's Joe. Control. I see the villain's lair. I'm going in. I'm at the gate. I need a password. Uh, right, OK. Um, quickly. OK, try one, two, three, four, five, six. Seriously? That worked? The truth is, that simple set of numbers is the most popular password in Australia and the world. That's according to NordPass, a global password management service. It's just released a list of the most popular passwords and how long it takes hacking software to crack them. In Australia, the top 10 includes things like password, ABC123 and QWERTY. And, unsurprisingly, most of them took less than one second to crack. It's not going to be that easy this time. Uh, what about Australia, princess, I love you, one, two, three, one, two, three, chocolate, soccer, monkey, mice... How many of these have you got? All up, there are 200 passwords on the list. So if one of yours is here, you should definitely change it. NordPass says that as people spend more time online, their passwords get weaker. And with passwords being the gateway to our digital lives, we all need to practice good password hygiene. That means creating complex passwords, regularly updating them, and never reusing old ones. Did any of those work? Nope. <sighs> Still locked out. Oh. These guys are good. Schools have been shut indefinitely in India's capital because of air pollution. The tiny airborne particles in New Delhi are at dangerous levels. Half of government employees have been told to work from home, and some coal-based power plants have been closed. India's top courts thinking about introducing a lockdown, the first of its kind in the country to help stop the smog. Here's a question for you. Where would you find the tastiest tap water in Australia? That's something a panel of judges tried to answer this week as part of a nationwide competition. Charlie finds out why the event's making such a splash. I've been drinking water for about 25 years now. So you could say I'm a bit of an expert. Are you familiar with tap water? Yes. You're gonna love this, because I actually know where to find the best tasting tap water in all of Australia. Believe it or not, that's a real thing. Every year, councils and water providers around the country submit their tastiest drops to be judged in a national competition. Where'd you get that second one? There's four things you want to look at. Colour, clarity, odour and taste. This year's state winners who scored highly in those categories have just been announced. While this is all about finding the best H2O on offer, it's also a chance to celebrate how important the resource is to us and the effort that goes into providing all Aussies with fresh, clean drinking water. The reigning tap water champion is actually Rosadin in Tasmania. In fact, it was judged to be so good, it was named the best in the world at the international competition. I did offer my services to judge, uh, but they said I'm actually too into water and it scared them. Move aside, make way, because for these next stories we've got animals on the move. These poor cows were left on a farm after heavy rain caused flooding in British Columbia, Canada. But with a bit of ingenuity, this rescue team managed to move the cattle to safety. Yay! It's official. Crabs are finally taking over the world. <laughs> OK, not really. They're just on their annual migration from the rainforest of Christmas Island to the ocean for mating season. Being a dog seems like a pretty good gig, but it's probably even better if you're Gunther the German Shepherd, the proud owner of this Miami mansion. Yep, 
He inherited this house, which used to belong to Madonna, from his grandfather, Gunther IV, also a dog. But now, he and his handlers are moving houses. Fancy stuff. Alright coolies, that's all from us, but before you go, why don't you hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you tomorrow.